Hi YouTube. This is the True Black Queen. Today is Saturday, December 4th. And this isn't my regular weekly update, even though it is supposed to be, but it's, it's not. I'll do it later. <laughs> um, but today is December 4th, and I thought I would come on here today to talk about a few things. Um, I'm actually waiting for a friend of mine. She is coming to get me, and we're going to lunch. Yesterday was my birthday. I turned 33, yay for me, and we, um, Evelyn and I, we went out to dinner. She took me to dinner, um, she rented a limo, and we went to a really nice restaurant, and we had a really great time, um, had a great day. We really did, um, a lot of fun, but um, for a couple of days leading up to my birthday, I spent a lot of time thinking about turning 33, um, thinking about the last year, uh, and all that took place. And then last night, I got dressed, and, you know, since we were going to a nice restaurant, I thought I would get dressed, you know, look nice. And I think last night I had a really big revelation as far as this black band life that I'm now leading. Up to this point I've lost 54 pounds, which I'm very happy about. And before last night, Evelyn and I, we usually, you know, we go different places to dinner or whatever. But last night, when we went out and I got dressed, I felt pretty. Um, like, I honestly and truly felt attractive. And I didn't really realize how long it had been since I had felt attractive. I think it's maybe been four or five years, <laughs> maybe even longer than that, but I felt like I was pretty. Um, of course, Evelyn always tells me that I'm attractive, but she's biased because she loves me. But, um, you know, it's, it's really kind of amazing when you yourself realize that and I realized it last night that I'm feeling pretty again um, I, you know as I've mentioned in many of my videos I've always been a bigger girl um, and I've never had trouble attracting someone or having people to date or anything like that but just for the last couple of years, I just haven't felt like I was pretty. And it's really, it's really kind of a, a shitty way to feel, I guess. But I haven't. You know, I felt like I had gotten so big that, you know, people weren't seeing me as attractive. And it was just really very depressing for the most part and last night it was totally different I mean last night for the first time in I don't know how long I had on a pair of heels um, I was able to wear a pair of boots that I used to just love wearing I was able to put those on and I was able to look in the mirror and see an attractive woman looking back at me and you know, and I know that, you know, I'm the same person that I was before I had the surgery as far as my personality, but my outlook on life is so different now. You know, last year, the day before my birthday, I was thinking, you know, totally different thoughts than I was thinking this year. Last year, around this time, 
I had such a pain in my leg. I had a lot of swelling. I had a lot of chest pain. And I would go to bed some nights, you know, hoping that I would wake up the next day. Praying that I would wake up. Because I was always breathing so hard and everything. And it was, you know, at, at 32 years old, you shouldn't really be worried about that. I shouldn't have been having to worry about that, but I was. And, you know, my leg was bothering me every day. And I was having to leave work early because I could hardly walk on my leg. And I was having to go to an orthopedic surgeon trying to, you know, trying to make sure I don't have a blood clot. And these are just the things that I'm doing last year. And this year, flash forward 365 days, my thoughts are completely different. I'm not in pain. My leg isn't bothering me. I don't go to bed at night worried I'm not going to wake up the next day. It's, it's truly, truly miraculous because I never thought I would be here. I never thought that I would feel as good as I do feel. And that just makes me feel so optimistic about the next year. How I will look December 4th, 2011. You know, if I feel this great now, how great will I feel next year? You know, I'm so proud of myself and I'm so proud that I put aside how scared I would be to make this black band journey. I'm so proud of myself and I never realized exactly how proud of myself I was until last night when I was looking in the mirror and I saw a beautiful woman looking back at me.